video was brought to you today by A Class Kids Gift. Let the fun begin! Hello, my beautiful bright stars. This is our number theory past paper session. Commitment. Committed to making your dreams happen. You were born to live a great life. Step into your greatness because your dream, it is possible. Let's look at our first question. What is the highest common factor of the set of numbers? 54, 72, and 90. Please pause this video and attempt the question on your own. When you have completed the question, you can press play to see the solution. There are two methods we can use to solve this question. Let's look at the first one. Method 1. Factors of 54 include 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. Factors of 72 include 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36, and 72. Factors of 90 include 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 15, 18, 30, 45, and 90. We are looking for the common factors. What are the common factors between 54, 72, and 90? Let's search for them. We have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. The key word is highest common factor. Which one is the highest? You are correct. It is 18. So therefore, the HCF of 54, 72, and 90 is 18. Let's take a look at method 2. Method 2 uses prime numbers. Do you remember your prime numbers? Here they are for your refreshing. We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now in this method, we use our prime numbers to resolve the numbers. In selecting a prime number, you select a number that can go into all three numbers at the same time. Let's start with 2. 2 can go into 54 27 times, 2 can go into 72 36 times, 2 can go into 90 45 times. Can we use 2 again? No, because 2 cannot go into the next 3 numbers. Let's use 3. 3 can go into 27 9 times, 3 can go into 36 12 times, and 3 can go into 45 15 times. Is there another common prime factor we can use? Yes, we can use 3 again. 3 can go into 9 3 times, 3 can go into 12 4 times, and 3 can go into 15 5 times. Now there are no more common prime numbers that can be used in this question. So therefore, our HCF is simply the product of the prime numbers we used. So the HCF of 54, 72, and 90 is 2 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 80. The answer to this question is... Pretty good, isn't it? Give yourself a pat on the back. You did a good job. Let's look at our second question. What is the least number of plums that can be shared equally among either 6, 9, or 12 children? Please pause this video and attempt the question on your own. When you have completed the question, you can press play to see the solution. What are they asking us to find? If you said LCM, you are correct. It is LCM. Let's look at the first method. Method 1. Listing the multiples of 6. The multiples of 6 include 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, all the way to infinity. Multiples of 9. The multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, all the way to infinity. Multiples of 12. Multiples of 12 include 12, 24, 36, 48, 
all the way to infinity. So the least common multiple is therefore 36. So therefore the LCN of 6, 9, and 12 is simply 36. Let's look at method 2. Now method 2 uses our prime numbers. Now here are our list of prime numbers. In this method, we are reducing each number to 1 using our prime numbers. So let's pick a number that, let's start with the least. Let's start with the lowest prime number, which is 2. 2 can go into 6 three times. 2 cannot go into 9, so leave 9 just as it is. 2 can go into 12 six times. Now, what can we use? We can use 2 again because 2 can go into 6. We leave 3 and 9 because 2 cannot go into 3 or 9 without leaving a remainder. 2 into 6 is 3. What can we use now? We can use 3. Three can go into three one time, three can go into nine three times, and three can go into three one time. Can we use another number? Yes, we can use three again. So three can go into three one time. We have successfully reduced all the numbers to one. Now the LCM of six, nine, and twelve will simply be the product of all the prime numbers that we used. It will be two times two times three times three which is equal to 36. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did a good job. Our answer is therefore B, 36. Let's look at our third question. Our third question reads, by the distributive law, 49 times 17 plus 49 times 3. Please pause this video and attempt the question on your own. When you have completed the question, you can press play to see the solution. Let's put some brackets around that question. So we now have 49 times 17 in brackets plus 49 times 3 in brackets. So you see that we have the 49 in common? We can take it out. And we're left with 49 times 17 plus 3. Now if we just add what's in bracket, we'll get 20. So therefore, it's 49 times 20. Do you see that? 49 times 17, that's the first bracket. 49 times 3 gives us the second bracket. So our answer is D. That is correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did a fantastic job. Let's look at our fourth question. This question reads, the first three common multiples of 3, 4, and 6 are. Please pause this video and attempt the question on your own. When you have completed the question, you can press play to see the solution. So to answer this question, we must list the multiples of each number. Let's look at the multiples of 3. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, all the way to infinity. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, all the way to infinity. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, all the way to infinity. Now we are looking for the common multiples, the first three common multiples. Let's circle the multiples they have in common. We have 12, 24, and 36. These are our first three common multiples. So therefore, our answer is A. Very good. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did a good job. Let's look at our next question. Which of the following sets has an infinite number of members? Please 
please pause this video and attempt the question on your own. When you have completed the question, you can press play to see the solution. The keyword there is infinite. Do you know what infinite means? Of course you do. It means to go on for forever. An infinite set, we cannot list all the members of that set. So let's look at the members of each set. Factors of 20. The factors of 20 include 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Multiples of 20. The multiples of 20 include 20, 40, 60, 80. Odd numbers. The odd numbers between 10 and 20 include 11, 13, 15, and 17. And prime numbers less than 20. The prime numbers less than 20 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now which one of these sets we were unable to list all its members? You are right, multiples of 20. So therefore, the multiples of 20 is the infinite set. Our answer is therefore B. Good job. Let's look at our next question. Which of the following is a prime number? Please pause this video and attempt the question on your own. When you have completed the question, you can press play to see the solution. The keyword there is prime number. Do you remember what a prime number is? Let's start off by listing the factors of each number. The factors of 31 include 1 and 31. The factors of 33 include 1, 3, 11, and 33. The factors of 35 include 1, 5, 7, and 35. The factors of 39 include 1, 3, 13, and 39. Now, a prime number, if you remember correctly, has only two factors. That is correct. So therefore, which one of these numbers has only two factors? That's correct. 31. So therefore, our answer is 31. Yup, that is correct. Our answer is A. You did a good job. Give yourself a pat on that back. Thank you for watching. You have just successfully completed our number theory topic. You did a fantastic job. Before I go, I'd like to give you the first request to my session. You were born to look at the Step into my class today. I'm telling you that you have no competence or skill. Commit to making your dream a reality. You are going to meet challenges along the way. With every challenge that you face, say to yourself, I can do this. And trust me when I say